Okay, here we're back with the Mark V. So, what I've done is I've actually taken the, the, the newspaper off, the tape and everything else, and I've got just that there. I've added about two or th two coats to this so far, and I need to add probably about another two more. So, um, at this point, once that's done, I'll be wet sanding down the entire thing, taping this off, uh, painting the gold, um, and then i got to do the faceplate as well with the gold. Now, the gold I use is a metallic uh, Brilliant Gold from Krylon. And that seems to be that seems to work uh, the best. Um, it's it's pretty resilient to fingerprints and whatnot. I know that uh, the, the the silver color is not. If you put your the oils on your hands will react with the paint, and you start getting splotches on the on the, the face plate or on the chin or wherever you touch it. So it's kind of a lame thing, but um, that and if you shoot a clear on top of the silver, usually it comes out more muted looking, uh, more like a um, a, a, a nickel. So, uh, but anyways, here's the faceplate that I used for, for Halloween, um, for my, my helmet, and um, this has actually got a clear coat on top of it. Now, I didn't clean this off before I did that, and you can kind of see there's some spots in here where they look darker, and that's because of the, the greases from the hand. Uh, I had to basically sand this back down a little bit, just past the clear coat, shoot another coat of clear or uh, gold on top, and then clear it. Uh, before I even touch it. So rubber gloves when you're working with metallic paints is probably the best thing. So, um, but anyways, so um, once this, as I said, once this is all wet sanded down, I'll be shooting the, the gold and then clearing the whole thing. So um, now the clear I use is the dupe color. And as I said in the other video, uh, I tried using a acrylic lacquer and it ended up doing all sorts of funny things with the paint. I wasn't happy with it. So um, if you're going to use a certain paints stick with that brand it seems like it works better that way um, you would think it might not or it would it just doesn't so it's better just to stick with the brands that you have um, so if you're using dupe color use dupe color if you're using rust-oleum use rust-oleum clears uh, krylon krylon clears etc etc so um, so anyways um, so I'll be showing you guys that I'll be shooting this and doing a video on that as well the gold so you can kind of see what it looks like before and then after the clear, just to kind of see as a, a general reference point. So, um, but that's pretty much it for now. I got to start shooting some paint on here um, to feather it out, and then start wet sanding. So, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, thanks for watching, guys.